Now in Ireland, it used to be the tradition that when two people got married, they would be provided with a piece of land as a wedding present, and their families would help them build a home on that land. Now how that piece of land was chosen depended on what kind of materials were available there, because that's what they would have been building their house out of. Now, the best pieces of land for this, they would have some very good quality stone to build the house out of, good quality clay to cover the walls, and rushes for the thatch. Lower quality land would only have clay, or the worst quality would only have mud, and for the thatch you'd just have straw, or in even worse cases, heather. Now when Malachy Ryan and Harriet Stottle announced their impending marriage, the land that they were gifted was of reasonable quality. I had some good solid clay for building the house out of, and a good field of rushes for the thatch. And so, before the wedding even took place, Malachy, Harriet and their families set to building the house. And when it was done, they had a big party to celebrate, with everyone bringing food and drink, and paying for musicians to come and play. But around about midnight, something very strange happened. All of the merriment ceased, the lights lit all around the house, the fire in the fireplace, they all went dark. And down from the chimney, out through the fireplace, came a little leprechaun. And he said, uh, Sorry now, lad, sorry now, but, um, I'm afraid you've built this place in the middle of one of our roads. This is directly in the line between two fairy hills. It's getting in our way. You're going to have to knock it down or we will make your lives miserable. So you will absolutely miserable. And Malachy, well, he thought about this and everyone started murmuring and Oh no, what, what are we going to do? This is a new house. We just built the house. Malachy, he calmed everyone down and he turned to the leprechaun and he said, if you come with me for a moment, sir, just, just come outside with me and we'll, we'll talk about this. So Malachy and the leprechaun, they go outside. And Malachy looks up at the roof of the house and he can see clustered around the chimney is about a thousand fairies. And he doesn't know how they're managing it because it's a very small house with a very small roof. He thinks about the situation for a moment and he, he just shouts up to the fairies. How are you there lads? Um, I hear there's been a bit of bother with the site of the house. Do you think it would be alright if we left it for tonight? Because we're having a party right now. The family, they spent loads of money on this. We, 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 just, we just want to not make that a waste. And then tomorrow, we'll knock down the house and build a new one. And the fairies, they start mumbling and conferring with each other and thinking about this. And when they stop, the leprechaun standing by Malachy, he tugs on Malachy's sleeve and he says, Naya, yeah, fair enough, Malachy, fair enough that sounds like a perfectly good deal perfectly good deal and just just because you're being a good sport about this I'll tell you where to build the new house you see that spot just over there just by that bush you build it there you won't be in anyone's way we won't be a bother to you at all in fact we'll look after the place for you just build it right up there so the leprechaun headed off, the fairies disappeared from the top of the roof. Malachy went inside and he explained the compromise to everyone and everyone thought, well, no, yeah, that's, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. It won't be too much bother, it won't be too much bother building up a new house. Not too much and honestly, having the favour of the good folk as a result of this, that'll be great for you. 
and honestly, that's really the advantage when you make your house out of the land you're standing on. It's very easy to relocate. It's very easy to build back up again. Not at all expensive. 